How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. I got a question for you today. Is bushcraft dead? Has the subject of bushcraft kind of become a parody of itself? So I don't know how many times I've clicked on a video that I thought would be really interesting only to find somebody who's you know doing bushcraft and they're doing the same four or five things, putting emphasis where it doesn't belong, ignoring other parts, and overcomplicating things. One thing I think bushcraft needs to be is, uh, is simple. What is bushcraft? Uh, bushcraft is, in my mind, just about competency. It's about being competent in the woods. Now that doesn't mean you know everything, and it doesn't mean you do these things the way 500 other people say this is exactly how this has to be done. It just means taking care of your needs in, in the wilderness. You know, if you go on a long river trip or a hike in the mountains or, you know, out with some friends on a, on a cross-country trek, you know, you're going to have the same needs that you have when you're home. You're going to need water and food and, and heat, and, and you have to take care of all of those things in a wilderness setting. The more rustic, the more you have to improvise and you have to, you have to make what you don't have or make do without. And that's kind of what bushcraft is in a nutshell. It's just being able to take the, the material of the natural world and, and use it to cover your needs. Whether it's shelter or whether it's making fire from natural materials or getting your food from trapping and fishing. It's just taking care of your needs in a wilderness setting. The reason I'm filming this video is I just, I get the feeling all the time that bushcraft, as it's presented in magazines and on television and especially on the internet, is extremely distorted. There's a lot of emphasis on a few things that are sucking the air out of the room. There's other stuff that's only touched on. Uh, you know, I, I was probably in my mid-30s before I ever even heard the term bushcraft. And now it's it's approaching a curriculum of study almost where, you know, there, there's, there's, there's some folks that are prone to very rigid thinking that you say, you know, you need to learn these things and they need to be done this way or you're doing it wrong. I think there's a thousand ways to skin a cat, but it all boils down to the same thing. It's about being comfortable and competent in the wilderness. So with survival and bushcraft being topics of conversation for the last 15 years since like Survivor Man came out, uh, it's just, it's kind of grown into its whole, a whole thing. And of course with the internet, there's hundreds of people out there that are, that are making bushcraft videos. And with those bushcraft videos, there's a lot of good information, there's a lot of misinformation, and, and there's a lot of distortion. And what that does is that that puts people who want to get into bushcraft, want to get into backcountry travel, that uh, don't have that kind of experience in their past, it kind of puts them at the mercy of what do you believe, what do you trust, what's, what's real here. And so for the next few months I'm going to be doing a series of bushcraft videos just looking at the practicality of each aspect of what most people would consider modern bushcraft. Kind of taking the things that are, that are bigger than they need to be and squash them down and, and maybe shining some light on, on some of the other things that uh, have been passed over as unimportant. Or uh, maybe correcting some misinformation. You know, if you've watched this channel before, you've probably heard me say, I'm not a bushcrafter. This is not a bushcraft channel. You know, I've kind of always kept that bushcraft label at an arm's distance away because I didn't really feel like I belong in that community but I guess a lot of the folks that watch this channel are interested in content that's bushcraft related. I'd like to at least put out my version of what I would consider practical bushcraft. My intention is to kind of just clarify for new people or, or just for entertainment for people that like to see bushcraft videos and want a little bit of a different perspective I want to, uh, I'd like to take some of the things that are sucking the air out of the room and really figure them out and to see what's important about that activity and if it's something that we need to know, if it's something that is just, you know, kind of a Hollywood thing that YouTubers have latched onto and ran with. So is bushcraft dead in my mind? Um, no, I don't think it's dead, but I do think it's a bit stale. So let's get a good conversation rolling on this topic. Uh, what do you guys find to be 
the the quintessential things you would need to know to be competent in the woods and uh, what do you think is just fluff and filler and let me know what you guys think throw your comments down there in the bottom and uh, and I hope you guys enjoy my forthcoming series on bushcraft my name's Dave Whipple and thank you so much for watching Bush Radical and be radical eh see you soon